Hi, Cindy O'Meara here from Changing Habits. Today we're going to talk about vitalism. Vitalism is a philosophy, a philosophy that I have lived by my whole life. Vitalism means that we look at the body as a whole and we look at everything outside that body, the environment, connections, sunshine, sleep, light, everything we look at. Vitalism also says that you have an innate intelligence within your body. Given the right resources and stop interfering with it, it can be the healthiest that you can possibly be. So my father taught me about vitalism. But where there's one type of philosophy like that, there is also an opposing philosophy, and that is mechanism. So mechanism is a way of looking at the parts of the body and making sure they're all functioning right. As medicine stands today, they work on mechanism. So if you have a bad heart, you go to a heart surgeon. If you've got a bad gut, you go to a gut person, <laughs> you know, a gastroenterologist. If um, you have bad eyesight, you go to someone that does eyes. And it works brilliantly when it comes down to emergency care. So let's look at it this way. If I have been in a car accident and I'm bleeding profusely, I don't want the doctor in the emergency department to say, now, can you tell me about the connections you have with the humans you live with? And what's your nutrition like? And, um, you know, do you exercise every day? No, I don't want them to ask those questions. I want them to fix me. I want them to stitch me up, stop the blood flow, and then I can go back and let my body heal by giving it the right resources, stop interfering with it, and just make sure that that body heals. Both philosophies are so important. You cannot live without either of the other. But where we come astray, I guess, is that when everything in healthcare is mechanistic, where we look at autoimmune diseases for which disease they are, and we don't look at the food that we're consuming, we don't look at the environmental factors, we don't look at the movement that we're doing, we don't look at the connections or the stress or any of those other things. So living a vitalistic lifestyle means thinking about how your body functions and what it needs. And what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to talk about how you know exactly what your body needs by looking at an historical perspective as opposed to just looking at the philosophy of vitalism. So we have an education arm of Changing Habits. It's called the Nutrition Academy. And one of our first modules in the year-long course is all about vitalism versus mechanism. In food, we actually can look at food the same way we look at the human body. So I look at the vitalistic purposes of food as opposed to the mechanistic purposes of food. So if you look at an ingredient label, what you will see is that you will see um, fats, proteins, carbohydrates, salts, um, vitamins and minerals. So that's the mechanistic way of looking at food, is looking at the nutritional panel. But if you wanna look at a package for its vitalistic processes or the vitalistic philosophy behind it, is you look at the ingredients. And if the ingredients say coconut cream, chili, garlic, onion, um, and vegetable oil, no, let's just make it coconut oil, then you know that that's a vital food. It's a food from nature. There's no chemicals in it. There's no additives, preservatives, or flavors. But if you look at that food and you see flavor enhancer, you see uh, citric acid, you see xanthan gum, vegetable oil, or soy oil, or any of those other ingredients, it's if, if you read that, then you know that they aren't looking at the vitalistic processes of the food. So a flavor is taken out. A, um, citric acid is made by genetically modified mold. So this is how we look at our body vitalistically and how we look at our food vitalistically. Hope you enjoyed that.